Hi everybody, this is Methyl Kaiju here and today I'm going to talk about new Godzilla 2014 information and this one is very similar to the toy leaked not the Latin sounds the other one, the newest one but this time it's a new HD Godzilla 2014 toy images revealed now they look amazing and I'm going to show them here just in case it's a leak or something but I got this from Godzilla Movie News and the pictures look awesome I'm gonna put them as a thumbnail for you can you know copy paste and I'm also gonna put a link to this article as well and I'm gonna try and hurry on this video just in case it gets taken down but they look spectacular but I'm gonna read what it says here in Godzilla Movie News um so yeah here this is what it says the, the title is New HD Godzilla 2014 Toy Images Revealed and what it says is, sources may have said the embargo for revealing the new Godzilla toys doesn't lift until March. But as we've been reporting, some retailers, retailers will be revealing their stock by the end of this month. And well, it's about the end of the month. And we have a new HD look at one of the many Godzilla 2014 figures to be produced for the new film. The one below makes their way onto the R form recently. Thanks to Spine Spike, you know, whatever, who posted these two images, which look like promotional images, of a 61 centimeter tall Godzilla figure, which made their debut on the UK site called Anime Figures. Check it out. And we have the two spectacular figures. I'm going to review them later, but I didn't read the end of this article. So, what do you think? It's a nice change from the. Is it. Wait. Sorry, my tongue got twisted a little bit there. It's a nice change from the last toy we saw, which had less detail and seemed made for a younger younger audience. This one looks to have a few points of articulation as well. Let us know what you think by commenting below. And also, I'm going to ask that to you guys as well. What do you think of this figure? If you haven't seen it, then I'm going to put this article as a link in the description below. And they have these two pictures. They look very awesome. Now I'm just gonna review them. So they look very similar to the other leaked. You know the uh, the second one, the second leaked. You know the newest one. Now from what we can see here, it looks like it's gonna have a grayish, bluish color, and the um, the chest is kind of like a brownish, like a caramel color. With yeah, caramel color. And overall, the color, the paint detail, it looks very, very nice, very cool. The spikes are actually a little bit short, kind of like Godzilla Juniors, except they're a tiny bit bigger. But they're not too big or small, but it's going towards the small side. But, you know, I guess you want to make it realistic. So, you know, Godzilla, of course, is not going to have giant spikes if it's, you know, trying to be realistic. The face looks awesome. It has the orange evil eyes, which means, you know, Godzilla can have the orange eyes. And then the, the tongue... You know, it's completely red. It looks, you know, very cool. And the teeth, they look a little bit messed up, you know, because it's meant to be like that. And also, they're pretty sharp and pointy. The tail, the tail at the end of the tail is very, like, slim and very sharp. It looks like it's very sharp. The feet are, you know, stump feet, the elephant feet, except they're a little bit more textured and they're, they look more, like, realistic than the other one that got leaked. It doesn't have the black, uh... The black fingernails or whatever. Um. So yeah. The overall, this figure looks very awesome. It might actually be even the best figure in my collection if I get it. Um. It, it seems like this is not a leak, but you know, just in case you know Warner Brothers and Legendary get upset of this and then they take it down, I might hurry up in this video and post the link. You know, before you can see it. Or I can just put it as a thumbnail. So you know, one of those two. And I'm going to save this image just in case, you know, just in case it gets taken down. Because I really do not want it to be taken down. So, you know, overall, these toys are amazing. Amazing. I'll tell you. Amazing. Like, you know, they're actually 61 centimeters. Now, that's bigger than an X+. Plus. An X+, plus is around 35 centimeters, I believe. I'm not a big fan. I mean, I don't know the you know the whole statistics of the X Plus figures, but 
I've heard that they're about 35 centimeters. The shortest one is like 20 centimeters, and the biggest one is like 40 centimeters. I mean, I might I might be completely wrong, but you know, I'm not a big fan of X Plus, and you know, I'm not too much into it. But you know, they're they're pretty big. But I didn't. But I don't think there's a X Plus that's 61 centimeters tall. This one's gonna be a huge figure, huge figure, very big figure. It's gonna be like super small compared to my six inch figures. Very small. I mean, not too small, like all the way to his nail, but you know, you know what I mean. Maybe on all the way to his um, knee or something around there. But this figure is going to be a big figure. But overall, the detail and all the scales and the paint job and the look of it and the sculpt, they're absolutely amazing. Amazing. Not sure if this is the one from um, Bandai Creation. Um, I don't think this is the Bandai Creation one because uh, I think the Bandai Creation one is going to be a 6-inch one. I think this one is going to be a NECA one. And if this is the NECA, it looks very very cool. Oh, I forgot to mention the articulation. The articulation from what we can see here. It looks like the head has a... Uh, it kind of looks like the head can rotate. But it might be a gluteal. The arms can definitely rotate. Because in the pictures, they're actually different. In the top picture, you know, his hands are like going down. In the other picture, you see one of his hands like, you know, up. So, you know, of course, the arms can move. The legs most likely can move as well. And it looks like the, the tail has um, three segments that could probably rotate. The mid part, the end part, and the, I guess, the butt side, I guess, if you want to call it. It's very near the, closest to the body side. So, you know, articulation. Not sure about the head. The tail, I mean the tail, not the tail, the tongue, it looks like it can actually move. But it looks also, you know, it's put in there, so I'm not sure. So I'm actually not sure about that, but if, you know, for to be very certain, the arms and the legs. I'm not sure about the head and not sure about the tail. Most likely the tail can move, but, you know, I'm not sure yet. But anyways, um, you know, this is a very nice figure. You know, I'm going to put this article, the link in the description below. I barely noticed this about around, hmm, about like 10 seconds ago before I even did this video. Um, so yeah, this is the end for this video. Make sure subscribe, like, and comment. What do you think of this figure? What do you think of this figure? Is it cool? Is it just you know another figure that you know that nobody cares about? My opinion, I think I already said it too many times, but I'll just say it again. It looks epically awesome. I'm not sure if that word even exists. Epically, so you know, don't blame me with that. But anyways, this is the end for this video. Make sure subscribe, like, and comment. This is Metal Kaiju signing out.